KCAU 9 News. Siouxland proud. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Rebecca Pryor. Today, Air Force Junior ROTC students gathered to honor the sacrifice our fallen veterans have made, dedicating an entire day to the lives that gave everything. That's our top story. Corporal Latu Junior. For the past 12 hours, students in the Sioux City ROTC program have been standing at the Floyd Monument to honor our veterans. In 30-minute shifts, the students silently patrol, and in the changing of the guard, the names of the fallen are read. We asked some of them why they feel it's important. Well, I don't want to do that because it's cold, but you have to get over that. You have to think about what it is, and you're, you're standing there honoring people, and um, it's supposed to be something that's solemn. The program consists of students from all three Sioux City high schools. And coming up this Monday, there are several local businesses who want to celebrate Veterans Day and will have special deals to thank those who served. Veterans can get a free burger or flatbread at Bar Louie on Gordon Drive. And Old Chicago is giving away a free individual pizza through Monday for active duty and veterans. For a full list of participating restaurants, look on our website at SulemProud.com. Iowa law enforcement officials are warning residents of a new phone scam. Officials say scammers are posing as Iowa Division of Criminal Investigation staff, claiming to be DCI agents working for the FBI to collect money. Some scanners are using false agent names and badge numbers. Those targeted also report that their caller ID devices display a number for the Iowa Department of Public Safety. The DCI does not request payment over the phone. If you receive a call like this, contact your local law enforcement immediately. We're now just a month away from the season of giving and some Siouxland organizations are partnering with Sioux City stores to provide toys for kids in need over the holidays. The Salvation Army in Siouxland joining forces with Walmart to provide more than 1,000 kids in Siouxland with toys. Participating shoppers at Floyd and Singing Hills Walmart locations were provided a list of suggested toy items to help families in need. Stuff like Christmas is expensive and so we help the families give a little bit to their children so that they can keep their money. When you live paycheck to paycheck, you don't have much money for presents or a Christmas meal. If you missed the toy drive today, there will be another toy drive on December 7th and 14th at all Walmart in Siouxland. You can also drop off toys at the Salvation Army up until December 23rd. And continuing to prepare for that holiday season, people are making their gift lists and checking them twice, including over a thousand folks that attended Shepherd of Peace's semi-annual craft fair with over 75 vendors from Siouxland and beyond. There was no shortage of gift ideas. It's just good to get our church out there and to help support those local vendors, um, supporting their business and helping just them to sell and, and get their beautiful items out to the public. The event was free to the public and donations at the door went to the Sergeant Bluff Fire Department. Area Scouts are now one with the force. The local Cubs and Boy Scout troops were treated to some Jedi training today at the Sioux City Public Museum with activities like building droids and defeating the Sith. There was no shortage of fun mastering the force. It's a great opportunity for kids to um, get out on a Saturday afternoon, have some fun with their peers, as well as uh, tie in what they learn in Scouts and everyday school, but a, but a fun, active activity. The event was made possible by the partnership of the Scouts with the Sioux City Public Museum. We're now joined by meteorologist Marcus Beasley. Are you a Star Wars fan? No. I'm uh, not either. I've never seen any of them. <laughs> None of them? None of them. <laughs> I've seen some of them, but I've seen them like out of order, and I, yeah, I never know oh. what's going on. It's just a lot. <laughs> but regardless, today was not a day to be at the movies. Right. Today was a day to get outside. It was beautiful, but is it going to stay that nice outside? Unfortunately, it looks like some much colder air is going to be moving in and the possibility of some snow as soon as tomorrow afternoon. So if you didn't get outside and enjoy the nice weather today, unfortunately, it looks 
like you might have missed your opportunity because we're going to see weather getting a little bit colder here throughout the night and tomorrow as well. The view outside right now from the KCAU 9 studio brought to you by the Port Neal Welding Company is showing that we've got a fairly nice night outside. We will, though, have more clouds moving in as those temperatures will continue to drop as well. Temperatures right now throughout Siouxland are in the 40s for most of us. We've got 49 in Yankton, 44 in Wayne. Here in Sioux City, 48 degrees, 45 currently in Lamar's. We've got 45 as well in Cherokee and Storm Lake. So temperatures already beginning to cool off, but really not too bad of an evening. Wind speeds right now are calm in Lamar's and Cherokee as well as Wayne. Light winds at 7 in Sioux City, 6 in Orange City, and 5 in Storm Lake. Satellite radar showing that we are continuing to see clouds move in from the northwest. That will continue all night tonight. Tomorrow is looking like a mostly cloudy day. Stormcast showing that by 11 p.m. tonight, we will continue to see those clouds moving in. By tomorrow morning at 8 a.m., we are going to have mostly cloudy skies. Tomorrow looking like a mostly dry day until the late afternoon. Around 5 p.m., we are going to see the chance of some snow showers developing throughout Siouxland. Those snow showers will continue into the overnight period. Sunday night and into Monday morning, it does look like the snow will move out pretty quickly. As early as 7 a.m. Monday morning, we're going to have our skies clearing, and it's looking like Monday is going to be a very sunny day. Unfortunately, it is going to be a very cold Veterans Day on Monday. Your snowfall forecast is looking like it will be on the lighter side. We'll begin to see snow showers around 5 to 6 p.m., and we could see a light dusting to possibly up to an inch by Monday at 4 a.m., and then it does look like Monday will be a sunny day, so even though it will be below freezing, that sun will at least help melt some of that snow that will fall Sunday night. 32 degrees tonight for your low temperature with clouds increasing tomorrow, looking like a high of only 38 degrees with those cloudy skies and snow showers in the late afternoon and into the evening. Your 9 on 9 forecast showing that we are going to see cold temperatures throughout the next few days. Once again, 38 tomorrow with that 60% chance of some snow on your Monday. Veterans Day, 26 degrees for a high temperature, so very cold there on Monday. And then Tuesday, 35, we'll warm up a bit Wednesday to 44 degrees, and we are going to see a weak cold front slide through that'll bring us about a 30% chance of a wintry mix. And then by the tail end of the work week and into the weekend, temperatures will be in the upper 40s and lower 50s by Saturday. So really not too bad of an end of next work week.